I feel really bad for doing so many battery reviews, but I'm building to something, I swear. So only two more reviews left. In today's video, we're going to actually be rearranging the solar panels on the roof of the solar panel building to almost double the power output. Pokemo sent me their 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. And this is the battery that has the best feel to it. Like the texture is a nice, it's nice and black, and it feels nice and solid. I kind of like the aesthetic of this one most. Now this one, unfortunately, has befallen an issue with my solar panel setup. The chimney of the neighboring building has now been casting a shadow on my solar panel setup, and so now it's topping out at about 100 watts. So we're going to have to deal with that in this video. But we finally got it charged up, and it had a few weeks of balancing just to sit around, or at least a few days, at least one week. And uh, so we have this fully charged up. It sat overnight. Let's get the current meter on it and get it running our entire computer system. And I will be gaming on this, but in the previous video, I made it so I don't need the TV nor the TV speakers because I got this little sound bar that only takes five watts. So we can see, is the gaming current draw a reasonable amount for this? All right. And I'm gonna take this wire. You know, that, that, that should be a, a focus in, of another Solar Sunday is I should, I should finish modifying my inverter to where it's just a flip of a switch to turn this fan on. That'd be nice. Without anything running except for the light bulb and the uh, phantom current drawing, then um, it's about 20 watts. I had to turn that, C that, that PSU off because that one's always on and the one internally is the one that triggers. Because there's two power supplies in this computer. It's a franken pooter. And I'm not looking forward to tomorrow when I'll have to go up on the roof of the solar panel shed and um, try to find a solution for getting it to not be only making 100 watts because then it takes days to charge one of these up instead of two days. Let's see, how does it run when we open up a uh, YouTube video? Because on idle, it's about 110 watts. 1080p video playing full screen, about 100, 120 watts. You know what? It actually gets a little bit better wattage now. I'm glad to see because while gaming, it's only pulling around 280 watts, whereas before it was doing 330, something like that. So cutting out the television and sound system definitely helped. Still though, I'd love the game on only 40 watts if I could. One of the aspects though is, well, sure you could get newer hardware, but a lot of the hardware isn't a whole lot better and that costs money and the amount of power saved at the moment it's not really economical to get rid of my hardware when my hardware is about 10 years old although the gpu is from 2019 so it's half a decade old and i have thought about building a tiny computer that would use the amd 50 uh, 7600 x3d and just use the integrated graphics and pair it with a small 1280 by 720 LCD, that might be, that might be able to work. So no GPU at all. But um, an alternative option too, is to instead use the same computer and just scrounge up a really small low end graphics card in a few years, something like an Intel Arc card that's really low. Now, unfortunately, Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail takes quite a bit of power and they keep updating it, which I like, but it, the silicon has not been growing very much over the past decade. So it's, uh, yeah, we had dinner, watched a show. I edited a video, 
We're rendering it now. Only 10 minutes left on that. 26.5 amp hours so far. 334 watt hours using about 200 watts. Not too bad. I'm noticing that these terminals keep getting hotter and hotter the more I use them. And I think the crimp connectors are having a weak point. Although they are heating up. That's interesting. Like the, the battery terminals themselves do warm up as well. I think I'm going to shut everything down and I'm going to try to solder that connector because this is just a, a piece of wire that, that I found with that connector already on it. It was at a factory and, uh, well, I've already been using this so much. It might might not have been crimped very well, and crimp connections aren't something I really like anyway, so I might as well fix it. It's the next morning. I had to run out to help the coffee shop because one of their espresso machines went down. I wasn't able to fix it, though. <laughs> They'll have to send it back to the factory. But we have this running, a very consistent load still. And look at that, 1150 watt hours, and it's still 12.45 volts. This thing might actually give the 1280 that it claims on the first try. So we might be able to get to 1300 from it or 1400 from it later on. I just had the thing start beeping. I turned off the TV and the sound bar. Nice, we went over 100 amp hours. 12.39 watt hours though, a little bit shy. So we're done with that discharge test and this thing did really well. I still need to affix the label to it that I'm currently writing up the uh, little blue label. But I think another thing we can do is we can look at how the solar panels on our building, well, that chimney is keeping them in the shade and they're making almost, almost no power Okay, time to get this thing charged up. That is, if the other one has charged up at all. Okay, it has, look at that. Okay, cool. I came up on the roof to, uh, well, I was filming a video about a carbon monoxide sensor, but it's actually been about a week now, nah, like five days, and I already charged the battery back up, but it, it was never quite a sunny enough day to come up here, as you can see. We did slowly get the Okmo battery charged up though, and I'm actually doing a second discharge. But these solar panels were just covered in pollen and dirt and dust. Well, I see a lot of that has pretty much gone. But one thing we're going to have to deal with is now that the sun is at such an angle, these pieces of equipment are casting such a shadow that very often during the day, this is only doing 120 watts because one of the panels can't, can't outcompete or keep up with the other panel. So we'll come back on a sunny day and we'll, um, you know, this counts as, you know, I had to clean this. Well, it doesn't matter who cleaned it, nature cleaned it, but uh, I can count it as my work is done. I cleaned it and uh, so now I'm gonna go stop being wet because this, this sucks. Oh, look at that. We actually have a bit more power. When I first plugged this in, now this is just charging one of the 200 amp hour batteries. When I first plugged this in, it was only giving eight watts and then 10 watts and now 13 watts. So we can slowly see the clouds move away. I wouldn't be surprised if something similar is used by the uh, weather reporting to detect the brightness of the sun and therefore detect how thick the clouds are. Now, one thing though is because I connected up this battery whenever it was fully discharged, I came back and it was um, the BMS of the, of the 200 amp hour battery had disconnected, unfortunately. So I had to jumpstart it with this one. And then now it's actually charging. 
So that's one unfortunate thing. What I should probably do is have a small like 30 watt panel connected directly to the outputs. And that way the system can get itself going if there is sunlight, but the BMS of the battery is off. But in, in, in the end, probably what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have one dedicated system and then have some transformers or, or buck converters or whatever to move that power into batteries that I want to take somewhere else, such as the apartment. By the way, we should be hitting 90 kilowatt hours pretty soon. Sorry for being so slow and deliberate with my speech, but I just breathed in a whole bunch of carbon monoxide, so I feel weird. So I was a little bit wrong. It was actually, looks like 24 watt hours lower. But still, that tells me that the usage is more of a difference than the resistance before my meter. Um, I just switched out the other battery I was charging to now charge this one. And we're getting about 100, let's say 148 watts just to be like lenient. Now let's go on the roof. Well, let's get the ladder out first. Let's go on the roof and let's see if we can reposition the solar panels to get a little more power. They should be at like a 45 degree angle late, this late in the year, but I don't want to put them at an angle just yet because I just have them laying there and we get really bad gusts of wind up there. And I only have about a half hour to do this because Thais is cooking some food for a uh, Thanksgiving get together with our friends. And she said, if, the, if I'm not back by the time it's done, she's gonna kill me. So let's hurry up and get this going. Look how low of an angle that that sun is. We do have ice, look at that. It's actually cold enough. Ah, look at that. So I think if I were to move these over here, that would be a lot better. Let's give that a go. Okay, well that took us took care of itself. Okay, fine here. Now let's check the, the power of this. Look at that. That's not too bad because we can we top out at around like 360, 370, I think. I, I I actually I should start keeping notes. But 250, that's way better. And hopefully we can hit a hundred kilowatt hours. Well, ooh. okay. Let's let this charge and Today's Saturday. 
Tomorrow is the day this is uploading. Let's see if we can get this charged and do a third discharge by the time that's done. Now, I, I hope you guys aren't getting too annoyed by all these battery reviews. Honestly, I think I'm the one getting the most annoyed by these battery reviews, but I'm wanting to make all the buildings that we manage kind of off-grid and then also give a bunch to other people. But uh, I figure maybe it'll just be 2024 was the battery review year and then later on, no. Didn't come out last night because we were too tired, but I decided to come back and see, check on it Sunday morning. And it looks like we're still putting in 108 watts. We must have had some clouds yesterday, but oh well. Or maybe that chimney casts a shadow on one of the panels. It could be as well. Well, either way, we'll only get two discharges in this video but I'm glad I got the panels sorted out. I may build some frames to hold the solar panels at 45 degree angles during winter. We'll see though. For now, it's just a low effort solar panel setup and that works. It's just a bit of an inhibitor with having to test these batteries, but I'm hoping to get these set up in a way that I don't have to cart them around as much, but oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed this solar Sunday. Oh, wait, that's not my outro. <clears throat> what is my outro for Solar Sunday? Thank you very much for watching and have a happy Solar Sunday. Something like that. Oh, well. <laughs> See ya. I think it's something like that. So overall, that's pretty good. A lot of batteries. A whole lot. <laughs>